Alrighty. Here we are again. Uh, go through another tutorial. Sorry that it uh, posting this so late. I've uh, been busy today. And then I ran into an issue with my uh, Flutter Flow and Firebase. I guess I had opened up a different Google account in the same browser and it just made everything go crazy. So it took me a little while to narrow down what the problem was um, so that I could get things communicating correctly again. Uh, but we should be good to go. Um, so I'm going to start compiling different tutorials for different topics and then categorize them in YouTube accordingly. So you can kind of reference what, uh, what you want to learn and check out the different things that you want to look at. Um, I know there's a lot of requests out there for various uh, things that folks want to learn about. Um, and I'm going to try and get to all of them as soon as I can. Uh, but tonight, uh, one, of the, one of the main things that everybody seems to really want to dial into are the collections and how uh, referencing works and things like that. So um, I'm going to start off with something pretty simple just so we can kind of start messing around with the collections, um, see how those things work. And then we'll, we'll get more in depth and more complicated as we go along um, with each video that I put out. Um, but for tonight, we're just going to kind of brush the surface and uh, do a simple reference um, between a user's collection and, and uh, another collection. And the <clears throat> premise of, of this video will be if you have like a social media type app, um, we're going to have a news feed and then a button to be able to post to that news feed and the ability to upload a video or a photo along with some text and link all that stuff together. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. This video may be a little longer than usual. And so I may have to kind of either bridge these videos together since I am limited on time or I'll just do it in segments. Um, we'll see how I'm feeling. All right. So got our test app here, went ahead and just created a uh, sign up, sign in page because we're going to need that so we can properly test. Um, it's entirely up to you what order you do this in, but for the sake of this video, we're going to start with the database side um, and then we will uh, work on the user interface side after that. So um, I'm going to go over here to my fire store. Obviously, I've already got my uh, users collection built. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add a new collection. And I'm just going to title it uh, user post because this is where the post is going to be created um, whenever a user adds a new post to the newsfeed. Uh, as previously mentioned, subcollections don't use them. Um, I have explored more with subcollections a little bit, and I found that you can use them so long as you pre-fill the data. So if you if you create a subcollection and then go in and, and fill it from the back end from the from the editor, you can reference and call that data into your app, but you can't push data to a subcollection from inside your app. So users cannot upload anything to a subcollection. Um, and I, I still believe that's a limitation on Flutterflow's side. Uh, to my knowledge, there's no workaround, but uh, I'll keep searching and see if, if I've missed something. All right, so let's go ahead and create that. Um, okay, so once we've got that created, we need to go ahead and fill it with fields. Um, so I'm going to start off with a uh, user reference field. And we're going to do document reference, and we're going to reference our user's collection. And now we'll do a post content, so that'd be like the text of the field. And we'll do that as a string. Uh, and then we will do, uh, let's do media upload. 
because we're going to combine video and photo uploads into a single field rather than having separate fields for this use case. Now, they don't have a combined field when you're choosing your data type, which is kind of interesting. I've, I found that a little, a little strange, um, which you'll see later on why that's strange, but I'm just going to choose the image path for the time being. And so we can have some likes on the post. We'll do post likes. And we'll do as an integer. And lastly, we'll do a created date and time. And we'll set that as a timestamp. Okay, so now you have your user post collection and you have your um, fields within that collection. All right, so now we can go back to the user interface. So um, again, because we're focusing more on data rather than user interface, I'm gonna cheat a little bit and I'm gonna create a new page and I'm gonna use one of their templates. Um, so the first one I'm gonna do is, uh, we're gonna do a new post page and we'll just grab something down here that we can work with. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this one will work. Okay, so I'm gonna just change stuff around a little bit so it makes a little bit more sense for what we're doing. Uh, should already be set by itself, yep. Um, we don't need this. Ooh, come on now, there we go. So we're gonna get rid of that. Um, we are going to get rid of this and this. And all of this. We don't need any of this for right now. Um, this will be our uh, post content field. And then we need um, something for uploading a, uh, <clears throat> sorry, for uploading the media. So I added a row in there just dropped it in, made sure that it was within my form box. That way it's it can be validated. Um, and then I'm going to just grab a button and drop it inside my row. I'll click there. And then if I want to make it look a little bit prettier, um, uh, what am I looking for? Oh, yeah, that's right, I can't do it that way. We are going to do the padding over here. We're going to set that to 100 so we can kind of get in the middle. I don't think it's exactly in the middle. That kind of drives me nuts. I'm a little OCD about things being centered. <laughs> That's driving me crazy. That looks a little better. Still not perfect, but it'll work so I don't sit here and spend a lot of time doing that. And we'll change that to upload media. And we'll change the width to 175. And now, now it's totally off center. Ugh. Now 100 looks a little better. Okay, so I'm just about the at the end of my recording time. So I'm going to stop here and then pick right back up.